use headphones for best experience. say a few words about a really cool mobile game and also today's video sponsor. If you're looking for a mobile online um, game that is not only satisfying but also has some really interesting features like as you can see here very cool graphics and um, a lot of uh, big variety of characters and uh, all these champions that I'll show you and uh, also really interesting fascinating lore about uh, the world and the characters and a super interesting map of the uh, continent of Teleria that I will show you in a minute and then you should definitely try Raid Shadow Legends it's uh, completely free to play it has millions of players uh, competing in uh, tournaments and events. And they've just uh, introduced an entirely new playable faction. So get ready to meet the Shadow Kin. Use my links below to download uh, Raid Shadow Legends to your mobile phone or to your PC if you prefer that. The Shadow Kin are shrouded in mystery. Hailing from the furthest reaches of the eastern continent beyond the brimstone path. No one's heard of them for hundreds of years, up until just a few months ago. Why have they returned? And why now? They're only just arrived, so get ready to meet the new members as they arrive in the game. So, what I like about this game is uh, the awesome graphics. I can't believe it's an online mobile game looking like this. And also all the characters. A uh, big variety and they're very interesting and cool. Uh, big diversity. And um, also the interface is very easy to understand and straightforward. So it's easy to learn to to play very quickly and also the lore you can read a lot of background information about the places and uh, the champions and um, the clans the clan bosses everything and uh, of course i like the map as well i can sit here and imagine traveling to these places these areas visiting so take a look at this map, I have a lot of different areas here, the land of rebirth, the Kerok castle, and uh, catacombs of Narbuk, as you can see, Darkwood forest, Felwyn's gate, palace of Arabia, and uh, Valdemar Strait. Really interesting geography here. Mountains of despair. Godfrey's crossing the deadlands. Crocan desert. Stormwind wastelands. Great dragon shrine. And as you can see beyond the brimstone path, we have the area where the Shadow King possibly originates from. So, what's new in RAID? This month, May 2021, RAID's releasing an insane amount of new content and new things to do. First up, they are releasing 11 amazing new champions, and I can't wait to see what they can do. They are also releasing almost 200 brand new missions to complete, with an exclusive legendary champion as your reward if you manage to finish them. They're also adding five tough new levels to almost every single dungeon in the game. That's an incredible amount to add in just one month. 
it's never been easier to get started. So, what are you waiting for? Use my links below so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in-game. Good luck and see you there. in this world from this game I've been doing some research and uh, yeah it's been requested quite a lot as well and as you can see I've already prepared a canvas from this map and I prepared it this morning I'm just going to show you quickly what uh, material I used. So this is the paper that I use for many of my maps. Quite uh, heavy paper, 220 gram per square meter, and it's uh, suitable for drawing and calligraphy. Yeah, you can see here what kind of pens or pencils, brushes you can use. Smooth, heavy white. And then I used some ink for this particular canvas today. I used mostly red ink, Indian red. And some green, leaf green. Mostly at the border frame. And I used a brush like this. It's still a bit wet actually from when I prepared this canvas. So now you know. Um, as usual, I'm gonna start by drawing some outline. Very rough. And, um, let me start with the coast from the upper right corner here. And, um, Basically here in the center we have the southern part of the coast and Central part of the continent here, a lake here, 
them up to the rivers, system of rivers. And we're going to have a deep canyon here. And something that looks a bit like coast to the north and to the northwest, but it's not sure exactly what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's um, just uh, the limit of, of this world, the border between the known areas and the unknown, or if it's just a vast wasteland on the other side. Quite a complicated map, this one, but I like it. Kind of resembles or reminds me of a map I made together with my brother when I was a kid over a fantasy continent that we had. It was also this, like. <laughs> rectangular shape and some base this is a complicated area the wetlands So we have an area I've forgotten about. Um, this is more accurate.
important feature, I guess. Okay, next I have to decide what color I will use for the coast. This is a very dark blue marker. Southern province here to the south east. Called uh, Faron. an island here and a smaller island um, but now let's continue with the eastern coast Some islands here outside uh, Akala and Lanairo Province. I'll use the same color for for the lakes and the rivers, I guess. So here we have Lake Hyria. Not sure if some might pronounce it Hylia or if it's Hylia. And there are a lot of lakes in this world and a lot of bridges over crossing the lake. 
some are quite long. The Squabble River. We have the Dueling Peaks. This is an area called Cranmel Hills. And these are the Lanairo wetlands. The Raoul Hillside. Continue here on the Regencia River.
some islands as well if there is there. Especially very prominent is this island where the castle is. must be the biggest lake here. Lake Hylia. And we have Faron Sea, Nekluda Sea, Lanaira Sea and uh, Akala Sea. Yeah, Akala Sea here to the northeast. Um, but we have some more um, Interesting lakes and also a river, I guess, here. Mm. In Danairo, we, we have uh, the Sora, Sora's domain. It's a quite complicated area, I guess, to draw because it's a lot of reservoir lakes and a lot. Canals, rivers, streams, whatever, I'm not sure exactly. But uh, the Soras, this race, are. Um, they are like um, a humanoid uh, aquatic, aquatic creature. So. They rely a lot on water and thrive in water, I guess. This river is called Sora River. And here's where we have the Great Sora Bridge. To their island in the middle of this lake. There's another lake with an island in the middle. 
empty island. From the start it's empty, I guess. And this shape is quite, looks quite funny. It's uh, the Wrist Peninsula, and the Malin Bay. So it has this uh, spiral form here. Spiral shape. I'm not sure exactly how I will deal with the coast. Um, maybe I just leave it for now, as it is. And we have an, a lake here somewhere. Along the Lanaira Promenade. Footage here. And another lake. Here. Close to Kakariko. And close to Eldin Mountains and Eldin Canyon, we have also some some. I talked about later, or I mentioned, it's a quite narrow isthmus here, because then we have another lake, big lake, with a big island, or actually I think it's a peninsula here. So the lake itself, itself looks almost like a, like a river. Because the island in the center of it is so big. So here's an island, here's a small pond. And this is Lake Mekar with the Hyrule Great Forest on this peninsula and the lost wood connecting it to the rest of to the rest of the continent here. In Hebra we have some lakes as well. Quite important lake. Um, that I will put This right. I'll put it here, the Lake Toturi. With one big island in the center and some smaller islands surrounding it. So here we have a lake. And in the High River Reach, we also have a lake with a lot of small islands.
smaller legs as well like uh, Illumin there and uh, some smaller legs or ponds, pools on top of the Satori mountain here Lake. Here also we have a lot of islands and bridges, or one bridge crossing the biggest island here. a stream of water here. I don't know exactly in which direction it leads. If it's from this forest to into the lake, if it's an Enrique lake, or if it's somehow ending in li Lake Hylia, perhaps. But I can't see it ending up somewhere, so I guess I will draw it as an uh, Enderheek lake and river system. Small lake here, close to the Gerudo Desert. this canyon here. So, I don't know if I can call it like a dry coast. So maybe it's like a plateau highlands here and then it leads to it's a steep landscape and just a, a vast desert or something. Something I'm not sure. So I'll use this orange color and um, start here in the western part of the continent. So here's the outlines of uh, him. 
Libra. Maybe it's not just that it's like unknown, because I, I know that uh, in the beginning of this game you can only see a small area and then you start to explore a new parts of the world opens up as you as you play this game so maybe there are more worlds here to explore eventually Maybe I will use the same color for showing where the Gerudo Desert starts. Because here we have the Gerudo Highlands. And I guess uh, this part here is actually covered in snow, I think so. Not completely sure, but um, I'll draw maybe a dotted line. This is the Gerudo Desert. Then I'll use this red color for uh, the Eldin Mountains region here to the northeast. And we have the Death Mountain here big volcano and I guess it's the highest uh, peak mountain peak in the entire high road so it's like uh, also like rivers and lakes but 
the difference is that um, instead of water, this uh, canyon is filled with uh, uh, lava. It's lakes and ponds of lava here. Very hostile landscape, I guess. This blood red will do better. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Actually, I think it resembled too much the, the color of the canvas, the background, so I'll go back to using this one. So, something like this. And the crater on top of the volcano here. This is Death Mountain. And this is the, uh, the Eldin Canyon. And this uh, lava lake here is called the Daronia Lake. It's time for some mountains to show you the mountainous areas. We have, for example, Mount Turina. Turina. Located here. And um, the Hebra.
this is called the uh, Tabantha Chandra. So, just this is a it's a quite cold climate here in Hebra. It's snow and tundra and mountain. And here we have the Gerudo Highlands. Really long mountain range here, dividing the Gerudo Desert from um, central Hyrule here. Great Plateau and Mount uh, Hylia or Helia. Here is Mount Hylia. Here is uh, the Great Plateau, also mountainous area. Satori Mountain here between these rivers the uh, Regencia River and the Tamio River here we have the West Hyrule Plains lowlands here and also the Rowan Plains and uh, the Rauru hillside. These are quite low landscapes, I guess. Low uh, elevation. Lindor's Bro. A mountainous area here in the high road ridge here somewhere. Death Mountain Volcano. So no, I don't know exactly if I should continue with the um, top perspective from above or now I'm doing like perspective <laughs> here showing you the mountains. But I just to uh, continue drawing some mountains here, not exactly where that Volcano is located. The Eldin Mountains area. Very mountain 
comes here to the north and uh, Akala as well there are a lot of highlands here and uh, also we have Mount uh, Lanairo here in the Nairo the clue down so and here we have this interesting feature the dueling peaks so it's um like uh, a pair of mountains with a narrow divide separate separating them and also here in the fire room regions I want like a more dark red color on this lava landscape. I think this is a bit better. And I'm gonna try to combine the perspectives here. And 
back to show you some forests, forested areas. Start with the great high ruled forests and the and the lost woods. as well here. And we have some smaller forested areas. We have the forest of time here. some forest here, this side of the river, the Hylia river, from leading from Lake Hylia like this, and uh, uh, they meet here, the, the Regencia river and the Hylia river meet, meet up here, and it continue as the Rutala river, I guess, or the rivers are a bit confusing in Hyrule, I must say, because I don't know in which direction they go, is it towards the water is floating to the Lake Hylia, I have no idea actually, because they're not ending up here in the uh, Lanaira Bay. Around uh, Lake Ilomeni we have some forest, and also around uh, Rutil or Rutile Lake, here we have a forest called the Talit Forest, Talita, and we have the forest of spirit. Basically here at the Great Plateau. We have the Faron grasslands. I draw it as a forested area. And we have uh, the Bubinga forest. Here in the Cluda. around this this uh, Floria Lake and the Floria River a 
draw another lake here, actually. The Daya Lake. And also here to the northeast, we have an interesting lake called the Skull Lake. see it, but I'm not sure. It's supposed to resemble a skull. Yeah, maybe I can use another green color for a very special tree here in the Great Hyrule Forest. It's the uh, Great Deku tree. Really big special tree. I'm going to use some yellow color now for um, cities and villages and places where there are people. start here with the Korok village. Next to the Deku tree here in the um, great Hyrule forest. So in Korok village we have a lot of Koroks of course. It's a formerly human shaped race but now they are plant like. And they resemble the Kokiri race from from uh, older um, Zelda games. But here they are called Korok, some forest spirits. And we have Goron City here in this hostile area around uh, Death Mountain. Goron City is like the gateway to the road that leads to to Death Mountain. So it's here in the Elden Canyon. And uh, here you find the mountain dwelling race, Goron. And they're um, exceptional in mining. So there are a lot of Goron mines here. Where they produce like metal and gems. And um, we have on this island, in um, this lake here, I'm not sure exactly, yeah, I think it's called the Ruto Lake. And th there are some mountains here as well. I, maybe I should draw some mountains here. The route to mountains. There are actually quite a lot of mountains. The route to mountains. And the route to lake. And on this island, there's a long bridge here leading to an island. Here we have Zora's domain. Inhabited by Zora's, this uh, humanoid aquatic creature. And they can be over 100 years old. Here we have the Hyrule Castle, very important location, 
on this island in the Regencia Lake in central Hyrule, in the Hyrule fields here. Central Hyrule is a province and Hyrule fields is there this uh, particular region around the castle and between all these rivers and um, yeah, it's surrounded by the Hyrule Castle moat here, so a lot of water around it and some bridges, the moat bridge, I guess, here somewhere, the center perhaps. Um, and then we have the Frito village on this island in Lake Totori. And uh, the Reitu village is inhabited by bird people race Reitu. And this special village is a collection of platforms, stairs and huts on top of a really large island plateau. It's a very cool place, I think. And in Gerudo Desert, we have the Gerudo Town. by the Gerudo race. They're very mysterious and secretive. Um, I've read that there are mostly females in this town. And they keep mostly to themselves and they reject outsiders. And um, males are not allowed in this town and um, a male Gerudo is only born once a hundred years or something like that. Once in a hundred years. Here in... Uh, I guess it's Nekluda. Southern parts of Nekluda. We have a little village called the Lurelin village by the sea. And uh, here to the south it's a very tropical climate. So here it's palm trees, but also steep cliffs. And uh, the Lurelin village is inhabited by Hylians. And uh, many of them make a living as fishermen here. So it's like a lot of fishing going on here in the Nekluda Sea. And then we have Hateno village in Nekluda. Here we have Hateno Bay and Hateno Beach. Hateno Village should be... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Here. So in Ateno village, um, it's interesting because it's one of the few inhabited locations that not was affected so much of the great calamity 100 years ago. And there's also a fort here, Fort Ateno. Here somewhere. Here we have Mount Lanairo and um, also have a village here in West Nekluda. So you could say Hatino village is in the East Nekluda, but in 
West Nekluda, we have another village called uh, Kakariko village. Um, mainly inhabited by members of the Sheikha race, or the Shadow Folk, an ancient clan. ancient clan of ninja-like warriors that uh, serve the royal family and they do this even after death I read and they're very skilled in magical and uh, combative art and uh, they're very the sheikha they're very techno technologically advanced and they're creating technologies such as the guardians this uh, self-guided weapon find or stumble across in high rule I wanted to show you Now I would like to add some roads I think that the roads in Hyrule are really nice nice feature. So the roads are connecting a lot of these places. Um, and yeah, you can, uh, if you have a horse, you can like, it follows the road automatically. But I used to start here and then I draw like a network of roads. Maybe not talking so much.
intention was to draw, draw these as uh, double lines to separate them from, for example, the mountains. See, I'm drawing parallel or like double lines. We also have some roads in this eastern part, northeastern part. And 
this road leading to Sora's domain is very <laughs> winding. Let's see if I can get it right here. It's not easy to go to this place by using the roads. the road leading up to Death Mountain, the Death Mountain summit, the volcano. Through Goron City. Also a winding road in the mountains here. So I like to add some roads to the south east and then we have the bridge of Hylia here right through this very big lake. leading to Tuft Mountain. So some roads here leading to the Nette Plateau. Spring. 
So, there are a lot of roads, a really big network of roads, and a lot of bridges as well, crossing uh, both lakes and uh, rivers. Roads leading up to very mountainous areas. to label uh, write the names of um, the different provinces of uh, Hyrule and then I think I will zoom in a bit We start here in the northwest. We have the province Hebra. to the east, but still are um, around to the northern parts here of the, the continent, then we have uh, Eldin. south, then we find the Lanairu, Lanairu province, south, we are entering Nekluda province, with the western part here and the eastern part here. But I'll write it here, somewhere in the middle. to the very south or southeast we have Faron province uh, let's see maybe I can write it here over the Floria uh, lake here
And in the center we have a central Hyrule. To the very south west, we have this vast desert landscape and the Gerudo province. So I noticed I forgot the extension of this road. The road leading to the Lost Woods through the Minshi Woods here. Last thing I'd like to do and add to this map is um, I want to continue to talk a bit about the roads and see if I am not sure if this is a good idea but I will see if I can fill the roads with a color for example this yellow color this type of um, aquarelle pencil and while I'm doing that, I would like to talk a bit about, or just mention, the places that the road uh, uh, goes through and passes. Um, so maybe there will be some spoilers. Uh, maybe there have, have already been a lot of spoilers, but um, I guess this video is mainly for those who have already maybe played and finished the game or for you who who don't plan to play it anyway but um, yeah there will be I will mention a lot of places and um, so if you don't want to hear <laughs> any spo spoilers and you want to explore this world um, on your own then you should probably fall asleep now <laughs> But if we start here at the very northwest in uh, the Hebra Mountains, then we have these two roads here. Um, one is uh, kind of starting here in the in the uh, Rosbro Pass, so it's a pass here uh, in the mountains. Hebra Mountains. So here we have the Rosper Pass, and here, a bit to the west, we have the Tronocos Pass. And uh, these two roads, they uh, converge here, meet here. And uh, if we continue this road, we will pass the Warbler's Nest. And we will go around this lake like this. The Lake Totori here. And uh, we will reach the Rit 
to stable. Here. So you have access to the bridge here that will take you to the Rito village. And here we can kind of choose if we want to go in the northern direction. We can start to use this northern road here and see where it leads. So then we will reach the um, the Tabanta Tundra region. So it's, I guess it's a really cold place here. We will also pass the Hebra Tower. Here, to the right. And we will eventually reach the Snowfield Staple. Located very much to the north. And we will round this um, northern tip of the Tanagar Canyon. It's a really long, deep canyon. start to go in the southern direction and we will pass the serene stable the serene stable in the Rowan Plains and eventually the road will meet up with some other roads here coming from the west and the east and the south. And at this crossing we have the uh, Richland Tower. And uh, if we would have chosen to go in this direction from Marie to Stable, then we would come to bridge here that's not uh, crossing any water but it's crossing like a canyon um, the Kolami bridge I guess it's a, a deep canyon here somewhere so we have Kolami bridge and then we have the Tabanta tower here and this uh, region this part of Hebra is called um, the uh, Tabanta Frontier. And here actually there's a really impressive bridge. The Tabanta Great Bridge. Crossing the entire um, canyon like this. On the other side of the canyon, we have the Tabanta Stable. And now we're in the Hyrule Ridge region. And we will end up here, where we can choose to go in a northern or a southern direction. Let's go in the southern direction and we will cross the Tamiya River on the Jeddo Bridge here. And then um, we will pass the Sanidin Park Ruin. And the Dalit uh, forest. Not sure exactly how it's pronounced. And this is the Satori Mountain region here. And then we will cross the southern part of Regencia River, or Regencia River. And uh, we do that on 
the Manhala Bridge. And we will eventually reach another stable. It's the outskirt stable. Yeah. And now we are at another crossing. And uh, let's take this road to the west and see where it leads. Then we have a really long bridge called the Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. It's a really long bridge, the Dig Dog, um, crossing this really wide part of the Regencia River. By the way, this part of the river is called the River of the Dead. And now we're in um, something called the Gerudo Canyon Pass. So we're entering Gerudo here. Now we're quite close to another tower called the Wasteland Tower. Here somewhere. Here we have the Gerudo Canyon stable. And the Gerudo Tower is located here somewhere to the west. But I haven't seen any road leading to that tower. And if we follow this road, we will eventually reach Gerudo Town. Oh, sorry. The roads road will end here in Gerudo Town. So if we go back to this crossing here, we can go in the eastern direction and round the uh, Great Plateau. The northern side. So we have the Great Plateau here. And uh, then we have the Great Plateau Tower. Here, somewhere. And also the Temple of Time. Can reach from this point. Now I can't wait to to take this direction here, because here we uh, seem to have a cool bridge, the bridge of Hylia, crossing the entire Hylia Lake. side we can find the uh, lake tower so we continue entering Faron province and here we can take this road to the right and we will come to the Highland Staple here. And if we continue, we can go in two directions here. We can choose this road that 
will take us to the Farum grasslands here. And in this direction we will come to a spring, the Malanya spring. We go back here, we can continue this road. Following the Floria River here, crosses the Floria River. And crosses it again. to the Floria, oh no, sorry, the Faron Tower, but it's located on the other side of the river. And from here we can follow the road to the east, and then we will reach eventually the Lurelin village. This road will lead to the Tuft Mountain. Also, we have a stable here, the Lakeside Stable. Let's go back to Central High Road continue in another direction here and uh, cross the Hylia River. This bridge is called the Proxim Bridge. And now we will follow another river, the Squabble River. southern bank here, and we will pass the Dueling Peaks, we have the Dueling Peaks Tower, and then the uh, Big Twin Bridge. Yes, there's also a small twin bridge here somewhere, but this is the big twin bridge. And we have the Dueling Peaks Stable here, on the other side of the road. And here we have the Kakariko Bridge, crossing Lake Sila. And we will eventually reach Kakariko village. But if we didn't want to cross Lake Sila, then we could go in this western direction and then we would come to Fort Hatino.
also another road here diverging to the south and um, then we have the Altiano Tower here somewhere and this road will end up here at the Loshlo Harbour This is an interesting area because here we don't have any big roads. So now if we want to go to Lanaire, Lanairu by road, we have to go back all the way to sorry. We have to go back all the way here. And we have the roads here, this uh, system of roads in Central High Road. A lot of roads and a lot of ruins we will find here. Here we have another stable, the Riverside Stable. And we have some bridges here as well. First we have Oland Bridge. And this road uh, crosses the river at uh, Orwell Bridge. And then we also have a bridge over the Nabi Lake. This is called the Nabi Lake. Uh, this bridge is called uh, Icus Bridge, I think. Icus. And now we're here in um, the Nairo Wetlands. We have the Wetland Stable. Bridge, the Re Reponai Bridge, and the Orset Bridge here. So it depends on which, from which road in the Central High Road and the High Road fields you will come from. Which bridge you will take here. And here we will cross the uh, Regencia River at a bridge called Thames Bridge. And here we have the Woodland Stable. continue the road we will also find the woodland tower and this road will eventually lead to the lost woods and then I guess there will, won't be any more road in the lost woods there are no roads I suppose Now let's try to reach Lanairu and Akala and Eltin. So this road follows the river that was called the Regencia or Regencia River. But here it's called the Sora River and this part is called the Rutala River. So I'm not sure exactly what this part of the river is called. But here we have a pond called the Zelo Pond. And uh, here we have the wetlands. And, um, let's
Let's try this road, this winding road with a lot of bridges. Let's try to find Sora's domain. So first we have um, the Lanairu Tower here. And this road will follow altering the southern banks and northern banks on the the um, Soros River. So here we have the Oran Bridge. Then we have a longer bridge called the Lotus Crossing. And we have the Route to Mountains here. And uh, finally, the Great Sora Bridge, leading to Sora's domain here in the lake. And from the, the wetlands area here, we can take this road, we try it, to the north. East, and then we will reach something called Turnio Trail. Here. Here we can choose to go in the northern direction, and we have um, another stable we should have the Foothill Stable. Then this road will wind through the mountains like this. Uh, past the Elgin Tower and then it will reach Goron City eventually. And from Goron City you can continue in the mountains, cross the, uh, the canyon here with the, the, the lava river or lava lake on a bridge called the Bridge of Eldin. And then we're here on the top of the Death Mountain. And we can't follow this road any longer than that. And uh, let's go in another direction from Turnia Trail. In this northeastern direction, we will pass another crossing here. Here we can choose to, to go in this direction, follow the road through Akala Highlands. Or if we want to see more of East Akala, we could take this, this uh, road here. But let's try both of them. Start with this one. Here there's a bridge, uh, not crossing any water again. This is crossing a some kind of canyon. And the bridge is called the Akala Span. Here we have the Akala Tower. And uh, the South Akala Stable as well. Here and now we're quite close to the spring of power. the Akala Highlands and here where these two roads meet again we have the East Akala Stable and here 
you can follow the road a bit more all the way to the North Akala beach let's go back and choose this road instead we will see more of East Akala Malin Bay and this uh, road leading to this uh, empty island and um, in, in Lake Akara uh, the island that is empty from the beginning and then we have the great fairy Mia located here another fairy spring and we have the Akala Falls here in the southern part of Lake Akala and here we're back at the road that we came from Let's see if there are some interesting places we want to see here in Central Hyrule as well. If we try this road, and then also this road, we will come to the Central Tower here, in the Hyrule Field. And here we have the castle town ruins. And here we have the Mabe, Mabe. I'm not sure if you call it Mabe or Mabe. I don't know, call it Mabe. Mabe village ruins. side tape uh, stable not tape and here of course we have the Hyrule Castle here we have the Hyrule Forest Park ruin This bridge is called the Boneyard Bridge. And this is called the Helmhead Bridge. and things and videos on YouTube and everything is the music I really think the music is wonderful so nice to listen to to relax to fall asleep to and uh, also when you see the, the titles of the tracks of the music they are like soundtrack of the Breath of the Wild the Breath of the Wild game, then uh, you can actually see the geographical place
places where the particular uh, track is played. So I, for example, I really like the music um, you can hear in uh, Kakariko village. And also the waterside music is really nice. I think you can hear it here in the Lanairo region, close to water. Also the Temple of Time music is really nice. The field music and the mountain music, great plateau music. Some tracks are really relaxing, actually, and beautifully played on piano and other. Thank you so much for watching, for listening, and for requesting this video. I think this map looks more, looks better if you zoom in a bit. It uh, turned out to be a very detailed map, I guess, a lot of features. Thanks for watching, sleep well, take care, stay safe.